Hello guys, welcome to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we will see how to install the current Python version on Windows. We will also run a sample program. So let's get started. At first, open the browser and type Python on your browser. Here you would find python.org. This is the official website for downloading Python. Click on the downloads button and then here you would find the latest available version for Windows. So here we can see Python 3.11.1. Click on this button. It will automatically start downloading on your system and double click on this exe file. Once you double click, this is the window what you are going to see. On this Python 3.11.1.setup window, you find two different options. One is the install now and the second one is the customize installation. So we will go for the customize installation. Here all these options are checked. Let me introduce you what are this. So pip is nothing but your Python package installer for Python. Package installer for Python. Idle means integrated development learning environment. Okay, I am going to show you everything how to use them. And rest of the things you just have to put a check mark. Do not uncheck anything. Leave it as it is. Now hit on the next button. On this one, ensure you select install Python 3.11 for all uses that is required and also select add Python to environment variable. Okay, and rest of the things you can leave it as it is. Now the second option here given is customize install location which is our program files. If you really need to change it, you can go and change the location by hitting on browse or else I would recommend you to leave as it is and I am going to hit on install you might get a prompt uh, on your window screen just hit on yes the admin prompt and the installation will begin so now the installation is complete setup has been successful you can close the window now the next thing is how do you check if the python is installed or not one thing is you can simply type python and you will be able to see the program on your computer the other way is to check is to open the command prompt on your windows and then in this command prompt you can simply type python slash space and two uh, dash symbols and then type version so you can see python 3.11.1 is available now let's say i would like to get inside the python console and type some program simply type py and hit on enter by doing this, what would happen? It is going to call the Python program within your command prompt and you can run some code. Let's write a very simple uh, code in Python. I'm going to print and I'm going to say automate with Rakesh. Okay, double quote and parenthesis close and I'm going to hit on enter and you can see the output has appeared. Now let's see this is in command prompt anyways you will not be using command prompt to learn python rather you can go for the idle ideally if you type the integrated development learning environment given from python just open this specific application I am going to show you how to use it. So once it is open let me type the command so on this one you can practice your python codes and here I am going to write the code let's say let's print automate with Rakesh this is my channel name please do subscribe so you can see the output has appeared now what to do next after this go to YouTube and type automate with Rakesh so this is my channel you would find this specific logo I have created a 11 hours full course for beginners okay with complete examples you can directly find this specific video or else you can visit my channel by clicking on the logo or on the text and on my channel here you have a playlist click on this playlist go to python for beginners playlist on this one i have created from module 1 to module 8 you can complete one one module each day or take few days for each module and complete all of them in case you would like to go through all the videos all the modules that is there on the top in one single video here is the 11 hours video you can simply open this video and start your learning journey 
So all the best. I hope you will become a Python developer pretty soon and you will be an expert in Python. Complete the course and do comment. Thank you. Take care. We are going to meet in the next video.